<laughs> so how do you feel about doing this? Because I'm 60 and I'm kind of almost through the menopause and I just think, you know what? I haven't got that much longer left here. Fuck, I've got to make every single second count. Can you talk about the assumptions that people have had about you and who you are based on how you dress? The assumption is that I, I'm a vegetarian. I love steak. I have a strong sexual energy and I'm not shy about, you know, kind of moving like a cat. And I would just be like, hi, and they were like, you want to fuck me? And I was like, no, <laughs> not at all. I was like 17 and had these massive boobs. And I was like, what? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't even like really know how I thought about that or what to do with them. And insecurity sells. Like what would the fashion industry look like if every woman liked what she looked like and wasn't preoccupied with how to make herself look more this or less that. What has been your biggest struggle? Reaching that point where I feel like I can be like open and honest and like embrace being vulnerable. My father died and it was uh, the final shock. I had already lost my daughter. She died of SIDS when I was 26. How old was she? Four months old. I truly, truly believe that the universe throws at you what you can just cope with. And in the process of learning how to cope with it and coping with it, that's how you grow. And if you, fr if you hide away from that rock that the universe throws at you, it will just throw it to you again in a different form. I left Jamaica when I was 24. I actually got sexually assaulted by a, a bunch of boys in a bathroom on my university campus when I came out as a lesbian and maybe right. attempt to convert me <laughs> to straightness. They have a term for it, it's called corrective rape. They, the docs put me on HRT for like a week. And if I thought that, that I felt- Yes, hormone replacement therapy. And if I felt like there was an alien in my body when menopause hit, there was a whole fucking war, world of aliens in my body when, they, when, they, when I took this HRT, it was like, what the what is going on with my body so i threw I, I just i mean what is the benefit in skipping over anything as i grow i feel less and less vulnerable i feel more and more like my insides get to be like right here like out because i don't feel threatened by the world or people would be like but i thought you grew up on the upper east side like i'm just like i didn't you know and today i can just say that but there was a time when i was like what are you gonna don't hurt me, like don't, don't hate me, don't judge me, you know, don't whatever. Once I realized that my value actually was indestructible and that this what you saw in front of you wasn't what made me valuable, I was like, oh shit, like I can just put it all out there because they can't take away from me something that is invisible. Maybe I'm the alien, I don't know, I don't know, but so for me, menopause, Yes, I had hot flushes, I was sweating, you go all pink and red and greasy and sweaty and oh my God, and you don't care what people think. No, I don't want to have sex. I'm really, really sorry, but actually it's fucking painful. I'm not doing it anymore. It's like a pair of scissors cutting up into your bloody birth canal. Now that I'm... I'm I'm a mom that people look at my kid and they're all like, oh, she's so cute. Like there's a way that I'm, I'm afraid of being seen as some kind of person who is in line with this whole, you know, conservative fucking bullshit. That because I had a baby, because I worked so hard to get pregnant and to stay pregnant and to have a kid, that I'm anti-abortion. I wanted to believe that that made me super, super, super supportive of every abortion rights in the country. Because that process is so hard mm -hmm. and you give up so much of yourself that if you do not want it, you should absolutely have the fucking right to say no. Call me stupid, call me idealistic, but I'm gunning for utopia. When do you feel the most beautiful? I feel really beautiful when I can see myself. I'd always been trapped inside my body thinking I knew, and I thought I was ugly. And it was only once I got outside myself and saw what I looked like, I was like, wow, that's a beautiful human. And I started to love her, because I wasn't her anymore. I was like someone watching her. What do you love most about your body? My ledge. And this ledge developed from having a child. That's, that's what I love the most about my body. And my belly I love. My belly, which is firm as firm as firm and I have all this stuff 
happening at the front, which I love. I mean, I could have done this and looked like everybody else, but I love it because this is where my babies were. Why in your body is it a good place to be? What I've seen in my own spiritual work is that we are all just light. So that would say that everything that is matter is not us. So my body is the thing that allows me to remember what light is because if it wasn't for this body, everything would be light and I wouldn't know that of what I was. So I feel like this body is what I'm not. And by remembering what I'm not, I get to remember what I am. Would you trade? Would you trade any Never. part of your body? No. It's kind of the visualization of what's going on Inside, I suppose. Yeah. What's going on inside? I'm just getting older and happier. Mm. A bit more accepting. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> that was really, I, I don't know how this is lo less than, I don't know what you're going to do with this edit, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs>